Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today we're going to do squash vine borer removal. If you have your uh, squash, you know, winter squash or summer squash like zucchini, yellow squash, that kind of thing, and all of a sudden you notice that the leaves are dying and the stems have this orangey stuff on it and the stems are starting to split, you very likely might have a squash vine borer, which is the larvae, uh, it's the caterpillar, sorry, of a moth that lays its egg at the base of the plant. So I'm gonna show you today, we're gonna to go over, we're having, we have some squash over in our friend's field here. These are our beehives over here. And uh, let's go, it'll be fun. So here we are in our winter squash patch here. Um, this is part of a larger field. I have some agricultural fabric down here. It's that woven plasticky fabric. It's great for keeping weeds down, great for growing squash. And you can see here, I've got a bunch of really healthy squash, but I've also got some that are kind of, they just don't look good. So I'm gonna take a look at those and show you, hopefully find the squash vine borer and take them out, okay? So when you see weak and yellowing plants like this, this is a sign that you have a problem and it could very likely be a squash vine borer. So right here is what we call frass. Um, it looks like orange sawdust and that is a sign that there are squash vine borers in this stem here. This is pretty far gone here, but you can see how this is split open. That means that they're in there. Uh, it, this might be too far gone to try and get them out of here. So we're gonna slit along here. Uh, this may kill the plant, by the way. But we're gonna open this up and try and find the borer. So this is the borer here, and you want to basically kill that guy. And we're going to do that just by slicing into him like that. So we're going to pack this around the wound. And there you go, you see him? Take him out. Sometimes these guys are quite a ways up inside the plant. All right, that was kind of exciting. A lot of grub killing went on there. The grubs aren't always that big. Sometimes they're quite a bit smaller and sometimes they're farther up the stem than you think they are. If you're not using like a growth fabric like I am, you know, this weed fabric, if you just got plain old hills of dirt, you can just dump a ton of dirt on there, wet it down, and the idea with that is that the squash plant will send out roots through that dirt farther up from where the wound is. So you've cut the thing open, you lay some dirt on there, and then the squash plant will run some roots through there and back into the soil. Another thing to do is if you know that your plant is infected and you've got the squash vines running along soil, is to just plant, put more soil over the stem and water it and then the stem will put roots there where you put the dirt. And then you can cut off the disease part a couple weeks later. Kind of neat, huh? So anyway, uh, that was kind of enjoyable killing grubs. Another way to do it is to take aluminum foil and wrap it around the stems of the young plants because the moth comes and lays those eggs at the base of the young plants. All right? So more cool stuff on our site, gardenfork.tv. More videos, more pictures, how-tos, recipes, beekeeping, cooking, DIY, gardening. We're on YouTube, we're on iTunes, and we also have Garden Fork Radio, our audio podcast, which is me talking with friends, basically. All right, starting to lightning out, time to go home. See ya.